Good morning everyone, I'm Rebecca from the Glitch Stitchery here for another Sips and Stitches. This one's for September. Hopefully I'll actually finish this one before the end of the month. I should be able to, but it'll come out towards the end of the month. So, lately, if you follow my Instagram, you know I've been doing more knitting than crocheting. Um, so far I've finished this pillow, which I like having on the couch. It makes my whole living room look a little bit more crafty. And I finished this hat. The video for the hat's coming soon. But right now I need to take a break from knitting and do some crocheting. So I did post a picture recently of a hat I'm working on. And I have a larger lap blanket project I'll be starting soon. I already have the yarn for it. I just I need to sit down and start working on it. That'll be very soon. Um, and then I have this yarn here that is my mother's yarn and she requested fingerless gloves. So that's what we're going to be working on. I'm going to show you a very basic tutorial on how to make fingerless gloves my way. It's not really a pattern, more of a recipe based on the, your hand size because I make them specifically to fit my hands but my mom has the same hands as me, so that'll work. Um, and I'll just, I'll try to show you how to adjust it to fit someone else's hands as well. So, I have these. And I'm also gonna be using my new crochet hook, it's in a fancy little bag, that I picked up from the Etsy shop, Just Jess For You. And what it is, is an old piece of silverware with a crochet hook. Do you see it? It's so hard to get it to focus on stuff like this. Anyway, I really like it. And it's similar to the pattern on the, um, the spoon handle ring that Mike got me a, few, like a couple years ago. So I like it for that reason too, but it fits really nicely in the hand and it's not particularly heavy. So I'm gonna try that out. That's gonna be my first time using it. We'll see how that goes. But it's the right size for the yarn, so that should be fine. Other than that, I'm going to go make a cup of coffee and wind the yarn into cakes, and we'll get started. Alright, so I think we're ready to start working on the fingerless gloves. Now, what you're going to want to do, first of all, is chain so that it goes around the widest part of your hands. And since we are going to be doing a ribbing, you're going to want an even number of stitches. I went with 36 stitches. So first things first, we're going to do a row of double crochet the whole way around. And then we're going to use that to make a few rows of ribbing. Um, I'm assuming you know how to do front post or ba and back post crochet. So I'm not going to do a huge amount on that. This isn't really a stitches tutorial. I'm just telling you basically the recipe for making the fingerless gloves. So, chain, make sure it fits your hand, and then we're gonna work in double crochet for a few rows of ribbing. So we're going to be working in slip stitched joined rounds the entire time. Since I did a starting chain of 36 stitches for my ribbing, I'm going to do a 3x3 three three ribbing, so 3 front post, 3 back post. Um, if you had to do a different size and did a different starting chain amount, then you're just going to want to use that number to figure out what to do for your ribbing. So for example, if you did a number that is divisible by two, then you might do a two by two ribbing, you might do a one by one ribbing. It's really up to you, but for this one I do think a three by three will look better. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be doing two rows of ribbing and then we're going to start on the body of the fingerless glove.
right, so at this point we're gonna be changing colors. You don't have to do that. Um, I know my mom wanted gloves with two colors though. You may also notice that I'm making these fairly loose. She does prefer things a little on the loose side, so I'm just doing that for her. For me, I would probably have started with more like 30 or 32 chains in the beginning. Anyway, all of these ends are gonna get sewn in at the end of the project. Since we are changing colors twice, there will be six ends to sew in. All right, so for the body of the glove, uh, fingerless glove, we are going to use half double crochet. And what we're gonna be doing is crocheting, because the cuff is gonna be right here. So we're gonna be crocheting half double crochet to right here. So I don't know exactly how many rows that's going to be yet, but you just wanna try it on occasionally while you're working on it to make sure you get the right amount. So it'll probably be about five rows, but I'm gonna crochet it up and see how it goes. All right, so I'll get back to you after that. So I'm ready to do the thumb hole. And I don't know if I had mentioned this at the beginning, but when you work in half double crochet, you can see how there's three bars. Actually, let me try a lighter color right here. See how there's three bars on top? So I'm working in the two closest to me and leaving that last one so that at the end, when I flip the gloves inside out, they'll end up with this really cool texture that I like. So for the thumb hole row, what we're going to do is do 30 half double crochet, chain six, skip the last six double, half double crochet, and slip stitch the row. So it'll be 30 stitches and a chain of six, and it won't be connected. So that's where the thumb is gonna go. All right, so I'm gonna do that in time-lapse, and then I'll show you in not time-lapse what that looks like. So what this does is it makes a thumb hole. And like I said, I'm making these loose for my mother. If I was making them for myself, I, it would probably be more like that. So 30 stitches. So there's the thumb hole. We're gonna do five more rows of half double crochet. And then we're gonna do some ribbing. So it'll come to right around here and that'll finish it up. So for the ribbing, we're gonna go back to this color again. So five rows, half double crochet, three rows ribbing in the other color, and then we'll be done. stitching's done. I ended up only doing four rows after the thumb hole row, just because then it's 10 rows total for the body of the glove, and then three and three, and I just like that symmetry. So the next step would be to sew in all the ends, and after that you flip the glove inside out, and you see that really cool half double crochet texture. And you know, after that you make its partner. <laughs> So you don't have to use two colors for this. It could be done with just one. I just happen to like the look of the two colors and I know my mother does as well. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type up this as an actual pattern on my blog with three sizes. So we're gonna call this the largest size. I'm going to release that at the same time as this video so you can look in the description below for the link to the written pattern. And you can consider, consider this just like supplementary information to go with the pattern. So if you're having trouble following it, you can follow the video. Um, beyond that, I'm gonna go work on the second glove, but I'm gonna call this video done. Thank you so much for watching, guys.